FBI officials have been found to repeatedly violate their own standards while searching a vast repository of foreign intelligence for information related to the January 6, 2021, insurrection at the U.S. The violations, which also include improper searches of donors to a congressional campaign, were detailed in a court order released on Friday, although the document was heavily redacted. Capital and Racial Justice Protests in 2020 these violations occurred prior to corrective measures implemented by the FBI starting in the summer of 2021. However, these problems could complicate the efforts of the FBI and the Justice Department to obtain congressional reauthorization of a warrantless surveillance program that is deemed necessary for countering terrorism. The violations were outlined in a secret court order issued by the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court, which oversees the U.S. espionage and international cybercrime. The Office of the Director of National Intelligence released a redacted version of the order on Friday, citing a commitment to transparency. Government's spy powers. Members of Congress had received the order when it was initially issued last year. The disclosed violations have raised concerns among civil liberties advocates and lawmakers. Patrick Toomey, deputy director of the ACLU's National Security Project, called for Congress to rein in the FBI's abuses of the law. Citing warrantless searches using the names of donors to a congressional candidate as an example of unlawful practices that undermine constitutional rights and democracy. Senator Ron Wyden, a Democrat from Oregon and a member of the Senate Intelligence Committee, described the findings as shocking and emphasized the need for statutory reforms to ensure proper checks and balances are in place to prevent further abuses if the surveillance program is to be renewed. The violations primarily revolve around improper queries of foreign intelligence information collected under Section 702 of the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act. This section allows the government to gather communications of targeted foreigners outside the United States without a warrant. The program, which is set to expire at the end of the year, creates a database of intelligence that can be searched by U.S. FBI queries are required to have a foreign intelligence purpose or be aimed at finding evidence of a crime. Agencies under specific circumstances. However, critics of the program have long expressed concerns about unjustified searches for information about American citizens and broader issues of surveillance abuse. The controversy surrounding the program has brought together liberal defenders of civil liberties and supporters of former President Donald Trump, who have highlighted FBI surveillance errors during investigations into potential ties between Russia and Trump's 2016 campaign. The Republican-led House has formed a committee to investigate what they perceive as the weaponization of the government. And a recent special counsel report highlighted FBI mistakes in the Trump-Russia probe. The disclosed episodes reveal instances where the FBI failed to follow its own standards. For example, the court order from April 2022 details how the FBI queried the Section 702 repository using the name of an individual believed to have been present at the Capitol during the January 6 riot. However, the information obtained from the query was not used for any analytical, investigative, or evidentiary purpose. The order also mentions an FBI analyst running 13 queries on individuals suspected of involvement in the Capitol riot. But the Justice Department later determined that these searches were unlikely to yield foreign intelligence information or evidence of a crime. Other violations occurred in June 2020 when FBI officials ran searches related to over 100 people arrested in connection with civil unrest and racial justice protests following the killing of George Floyd. The FBI conducted these searches to determine if there was any counterterrorism derogatory information on the arrestees. The FBI had asserted that the searches were likely to produce foreign intelligence information, although the specific reasons for this assessment were partially redacted. Furthermore, the FBI conducted a batch query of 19,000 donors to an unnamed congressional 